Retailers were expecting a typical Black Friday rush from consumers this year after a two-year break because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But tough economic conditions with high inflation and rising interest rates seem to have kept shoppers away. And those who ventured out were more circumspect with their hard-earned cash. ENCA's Heidi Jokos was out and about. Black Friday is here and many have been eyeing out their favorite items. It's the first Black Friday without any restrictions in the last two years after the COVID-19 pandemic. And while we all thought shops would be packed to capacity, that's not the case. Many have not only decided to purchase online, but this could also speak to the tough economic times and the pinch many consumers are facing. So Heidi, what we're seeing today is a massive surge on our e-commerce sites that we ordinarily haven't haven't seen so um, the numbers that we've that we see on that site now exceed anything that we've done in a, in a whole of, of, of Black Friday from an e-commerce point of view so I think customers came out at midnight for stock that they were afraid that they would miss out on and things that they wanted to take home straight away and I think thousands have, have, have ordered online and are willing to wait the three to five days for delivery for those those items online those that have decided to buy in store are rather buying what they need and not necessarily splurging. Some magneto light bulbs as a type of candles. Candles are things of the past, you know, ancient. So yeah, I was sort of looking into getting this Black Friday. No, I don't think the sales are great at all. I think some of these prices are actually normal price. I'm doing the normal grocery. Mostly I, I targeted the Pampas, the nappies for babies. Yeah, it is the most one. So, and I noticed that uh, most of the items in this uh, game on Mall of Africa, they are about 10 rand less. Yeah, so uh, at the end of my grocery, I think I will be saving about 500 rand. With inflation rising and consumers feeling the cost of living also increasing, it's going to be telling on how much consumers spent this time around. Heidi Jokos in Johannesburg.